Saga Emerald Beyond is the latest standalone game in the Saga series designed to give each player a unique gameplay experience. It combines beloved series elements like glimmers and combos in battles with a diverse cast including monsters, mechs and vampires. Players forge their own stories through choices and actions, traveling across 17 distinct worlds with vastly different cultures and landscapes. The game features six protagonists with diverse backgrounds and goals, embarking on their journeys across five unique story arcs. Each playthrough offers new events and stories, with branching plots that lead to multiple endings shaped by player decisions. Battles are strategic and dynamic, featuring timeline battles where every choice impacts the outcome. Players can manipulate ally actions, unleash devastating united attacks, and adapt tactics to their preferences. The Banchu Tactics is a strategy turn-based RPG set in the tumultuous world of Japanese gangster high schools. For years, Sakai High School, Nakamura Technical High School and Minato High School have engaged in bloody conflicts to assert dominance over their town. With the departure of Kitagawa Seiichi, the Demon King of Minato High School, last year, the balance of power among these schools is once again in question. The game unfolds at Minato High School, with the story centering around Taiga Arashi as he navigates the complex dynamics and fierce battles between these rival schools. Unicorn Overlord, Unicorn Overlord is an exceptionally crafted video game, offering players the freedom to engage as much or as little as they like. Each nation, stage, backstory, and side quest interweave seamlessly, creating an immersive experience enhanced by dazzling music and visuals. The flexible pacing allows some players to spend minutes where others spend hours, with both feeling their time is well spent. The combat is visually captivating and tactically engaging, with a variety of options and classes keeping it exciting. Unicorn Overlord appeals to all gaming sensibilities with its style and flair, making it a must-try for everyone enjoying tactical games. Shin Megami Tensei V Vengeance is a stellar enhanced re-release, improving the story and gameplay of the original. Despite no performance gains, it's a must-play for RPG fans. Some view SMT as Persona without the heart, but SMT Vengeance proves it has fantastic gameplay and unique appeal. This definitive version of the acclaimed Shin Megami Tensei V features a new storyline, locations, demons, and choices that impact the fate of existence. SMT Vengeance offers two story paths. Canon of Vengeance, a dramatic revenge tale featuring new characters and the Kadistu, demons with dark designs. Canon of Creation, the original story of the eternal conflict between angels and demons. If you want revenge, then I'll help you get it. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door takes place in Rogueport, a sea town built over an ancient city buried by a great catastrophe. Mario receives a mysterious treasure map and a letter from Princess Peach asking for help. Upon arriving in Rogueport, Mario discovers Peach is missing. He meets Guumbella, a young college student who offers to help Mario find the treasure her professor, Professor Frankly, has been researching. Professor Frankly reveals the legend of the Thousand Year Door, a sealed gateway beneath Rogue Port said to hold the treasure. To open it, Mario must gather seven crystal stars. This sets the stage for an adventure spanning eight chapters, taking around 25 hours to complete, with plenty more to explore. Shin the Wanderer. The mystery dungeon of Serpent Coil Island continues the adventures of Shin and his talking ferret partner, Copper, who receive a vision leading them to Serpent Coil Island to help a girl in distress. The game combines a fresh narrative approach with classic gameplay elements, emphasizing knowledge, risk, and reward. The charming new 3D visual style and energetic soundtrack by Pokemon Mystery Dungeon composer Kisuke Ito enhance the experience. Post-game dungeons offer unique challenges, with the ultimate 99-floor dungeon being particularly tough. 
This installment is perfect for newcomers and offers plenty of content for longtime fans. Making it more challenging and fun to play. Trails Through Daybreak stands out as the best in the series. With a mature protagonist and redefined combat, the Calvard arc kicks off with intensity. The first game already sets a hectic pace, hinting at a wild arc ahead. The new action RPG-esque field combat and enhanced traditional turn-based combat add depth and excitement. The game introduces new locations and a morally grey protagonist, offering a fresh perspective after so many do-gooder main characters. Additionally, it ditches the usual slow-burn story formula of arc openers for a faster-paced narrative. However, it is better suited for returning players than newcomers. Oh, sacred kinship stone! Monster Hunter Stories tells a compelling coming-of-age tale centered on a young warrior eager to leave their small village, accompanied by the humorous Naviru. The story delves into emotional depths as the protagonist's friend copes with a tragic event, blending heartfelt moments with light-hearted humor. It also explores the tension between tribes divided over the relationship between humans and monsters. In terms of gameplay, Monster Hunter Stories offers a unique twist on turn-based RPGs with a rock-paper-scissors battle system. Predicting and countering opponents' moves is crucial, with the ability to ride monsters for strategic advantages. Battles are dynamic, requiring adaptability as enemies may change tactics unexpectedly. It's a blend of strategy and luck, ensuring each encounter is both challenging and rewarding. Bandle Tale, a League of Legends story by Lazy Bear, creators of Graveyard Keeper, invites players into a charming crafting RPG set in the whimsical world of Bandle City, home to the Yordles. As a shy Yordle from Yarnville, you've just completed a century-long apprenticeship and yearn to explore beyond your isolated island obsessed with knitting. However, chaos ensues when a party mishap collapses the portals connecting Bandle City, prompting you to use your unique knitting magic to restore order. Venture into five new islands, craft impossible creations, and revive magical portals in Bandle Tail. Host festivals, cook farm-to-table delights, and build gadgets to keep your Yordle community entertained and content. Along the way, befriend iconic League of Legends champions, unravel mysteries, and mend your world one magical stitch at a time. Look, you've got ambitions. I understand that. Ayudan Chronicle. Hundred Heroes is a deeply immersive classic JRPG that unites protagonists of diverse races, cultures, and backgrounds toward a shared goal, evoking a range of emotions. Players engage in city building and fend off invasions, emphasizing the importance of community support for hero growth and maintaining positive relationships with adventurers is crucial for progress. The 2.5D graphics and dynamic action camera enhance visual appeal, while the sound design, focusing on epic one-on-one -on -one duels, resonates with gamers seeking thrilling gameplay experiences. Amarissa, we're guardians. That concludes our episode for the day. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive a notification about the latest game deals and updates. Thank you for tuning in. See you in the next video.